Hey everyone, it's Quentin from QB Tech, and this is a little uh, tutorial on how to make chisel doors in the chisel tool mod, which should be hopefully at least in a pre release state soonish. Uh, anyways, let's go over what these uh, chisel doors are. So, really, these chisel doors are just a two state chisel block that you can flip between. So you can see here, they can have different material sets and different shapes, or they can be empty in one of their phases, and you can link them together to act as one big door. Sometimes this lighting will actually affect the block lighting, but it's uh, a bit tricky to get uh, lighting to update in Vintage Story. But as you can see, when it's an open state, uh, go right on through and you can't go through when it's closed so from this you could build uh, all sorts of different things they don't have to be doors they could be trap doors windows or just some sort of weird animated thingy you've come up with uh, let's go through how to make one so here I have uh, just a straight chisel blocks this is where we're gonna actually build our door um, and this is just what I'm using to show what it'll look like in the open state. So this is a chisel block, nothing special, but we want to make it into a door. So we're going to take our pantograph and I'm going to press F to bring up the menu and I'm going to pick a sign closed door model. So now if I right click on this, you'll see the question mark block show up quick. And now if I right click it, not with the pantograph, because we don't want it to think we're still trying to do stuff, you can see that it will disappear in its open state. We can go through and reappear on its closed state. So that's fine, but it's a little weird. Uh, two things we want to do, of course, we're going to want to have an open mode model. And we probably want these to open and close together. So let's start with, let's, ass, let's link them together first. So we're going to do connect door tool. So I'm right clicking and I'm right clicking. And then when I left click, it has um, linked these doors together. So now that they open and close together. Which is a little more useful, but still we don't. This isn't some weird sliding door or magical door, so we want an open model for it. So to do that, we are going to open the pantograph with F again and assign open door model. So I'm left clicking to take a picture or a snapshot, and I'm gonna right click on there. It doesn't appear to do anything, but it has. So Take a snapshot there with left click, apply the shape with right click, and now you can see it's more door like. It does a funny little wiggle just because I've uh, BS things a bit, where here is inset, but then when you open it, it's not inset anymore just because I didn't want any seams. But you could do all sorts of like have door frames and stuff set up or whatever you want to. However, you want to set it up, just that it's a two frame. Uh, I guess a mini animation, but there's no animation in between them. It's just open or closed. So there we go. Now I still have to do a few little changes. Uh, right now you can just walk right through the block, which is not ideal when it's open. So I will have it assign uh, a proper collider if it's not a completely empty block. And you also see this full selection block and that's just so you can always access the door even if you've made both states empty, which you could totally do. I don't know why you'd do that. I guess it would make an invisible wall. And I guess the only other thing, if we go into survival, if I break this door, I'm going to get a chisel block, but it's important to note that this is a normal chisel block and it's the same block that I started with 
before I made it a door. So as soon as you make a block into a door, it uh, no longer, you, you're gonna lose it. Like, if you're at survival, we would have used, the pantograph should have used up a, uh, what are we using here? This creative block, which you wouldn't have in survival, but it would have used one of those up to make the uh, open door state, and that's gone now. Or if we'd done a whole bunch of changes and brought in like that material and and did all that, when you come back and break the door again, you're just getting the original chisel block. So that's just an important thing to note. Uh, you will be losing materials more than likely one way or another if you create a door, set it up in survival, and just change your mind. And there's no real good way around that. Uh, so that's just how it is. Just something to be aware of. And while we're at it, you can see the chiseled ladders. I can't remember if I made a tutorial video for these, but they're more simple. Uh, all you do is take, oh, I'm in survival, that's fine. Let's snapshot this. This is still, I'm using it as a regular chisel block. And I hit with the ladder tool, and then it's a ladder. Uh, these are a bit different. You can break them and place them without issues. And if you already had this last build, they should no longer ever damage you. There was a thing where if you were way up high and you turned a block into a ladder, then the game would think you were falling and you would just take random damage. It was kind of weird. But hopefully with these two uh, additions, you could do lots of builds and hopefully it won't be too long until I get the uh, the build up on ModDB. Anyways, thanks for watching.